All right, so we're ready to start. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. This is the first of our session today, and uh, we are going to start. Let me just go here. Hello, wherever you're coming from, if you can add in the chat box where it is, or where would you like to be coming from, or where have you been, that would be fine. The chat is at the bottom right-hand side. You may need to scroll down to get to it, but maybe not. So it's right there on the right. Just want to say that there are actually two formats. If you go into my view, you can go into the left dynamic format or the right, which is the presentation mode. So there are two modes. Try them both out while I screen share and let me know what you think. So I'm going to start the recording and, um, and then we'll get started. So here we go. Our first meeting for teaching EFL to young learners 2023. All right. As I said, hello and welcome again. Just note that there are, as I said, there are two, maybe Cheryl, you can add it in the chat box for those who come in a bit later, but they can choose dynamic or presentation mode. I'm going to start screen sharing so we can get into this right away. And while I'm screen sharing, you're going to notice some things happening in front of you. So you can maybe describe it what you see so what you should be seeing is a box with a screen share that is probably very very small you can either pull it at the bottom right hand side and cheryl let me know if you're seeing this please just say yes no or anyone else can do that you can unmute yourselves and oh thank you vita thank you so much right this is called the dynamic mode. Don't ask me why, that's what they called it. So you can pull it and then you can see a large chunk of it. In addition, if you go into the presentation mode, which uh, you might want to try, try it now just to uh, give me an input of what it looks like for you and what you're experiencing if you can. You might not like it, but you have a choice here. You can choose either or, or you can go back and forth as, right, it's different. Now, what you'll notice in the presentation mode is that you can actually scroll down and see everything. You can see everyone, people who are in the session. You can see a large or larger uh, chat box on the right that you can actually minimize and get rid of, which you can't with the one at the bottom in the dynamic mode. This is Go Brunch. It's browser-based, really easy to use. And if you're interested, uh, ask in the support forum in our course. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the course. Let me go there now. There we are. I'm in the course right now. And I am using let me go back into class. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to be using another system here. Right. Okay. So here you are. You should uh, be able to see this either in the dynamic mode or in the uh, presentation mode, whichever. And you can go back and forth, of course. But right now, you should be seeing what's called three professional development programs. And this is where our session, our course, this is where we will spend five weeks together. Notice just under, and I will share the link with you. So if you're not there yet, if you haven't registered, you'll be able to get that. All right. So um, I did make the chat disappear. Sorry about that. Uh, Cheryl? Um, can you add the link? Is it possible? Uh, 
yeah, technology. I, I don't know why I, I seem to have lost the, uh, okay, here we go. Yes. All right, so um, notice here, there's a calendar of live events to all the EVO 23 events. They're all here for uh, the month of January, as well as part of February. You can go in and you can also join other live online events. It's open. I don't recommend taking more than one five week session because it's going to be really hard to do so much in five weeks. And most of the uh, sessions are quite intensive. They all are, in fact. The five weeks are full of activities. And then I'm going to go into teaching FL to young learners, which is there. And here we are. This is our space for the next five weeks. Notice um, the title at the bottom, at the top. And then there is the Electronic Village Online, which is the category. If I go to the right, I will see the latest state announcements. Uh, keep your eye on this. Upcoming events. The next one is already there for next week because we're here now with this one on the 7th. Activities. Notice feedback forms and resources and the completion progress. Now, notice I've made some progress. I've done some reading and I was able to uh, get the ticks off for each of these once you do the activity, you will see your progress. And by the end, you will have the whole thing light blue with the yellow ticks. And there I see one person is online. And the latest badges will also appear here. Let me close that up. Oh, another thing about the discussion forms, you might want to subscribe to all of them. I have subscribed to all so that you get notification, you can always unsubscribe. Now, how do I get back? I'm lost. The way I do it is I go into my courses or I can use the back button. I go to my courses and the platform called Moodle has a tracking system and here is the course. It'll always be the one on the left that I was in and it'll take me to exactly where I was. Going to turn that off there, I can open and close it. Notice what um, at the top here, it says get further information. And you may wonder, what is this? What further information I'm getting? Well, since this is called Teaching AFL to Young Learners, um, there is a place for you to ask questions about um, EFL to young learners and teaching and general things, anything you want. Nobody will see your questions or your comments, but you'll be chatting with what's called chat GPT. And it's absolutely amazing. If you want the sources where the information came from, ask the bot or the AI, artificial intelligence, to get the sources for you and it will. So my first question is, what uh, is involved in teaching EFL to young learners. This is just to let you know that we have a support form and we will help you. It's not that we're going to be bought, but just to um, end sources. Well, I'll, it can't do two things at the same time. It's one thing at a time. So, but you can keep asking. So teaching English as a foreign language, notice it knew what EFL is requires an understanding of the age appropriate learning strategies, activities and materials that are best suited for the level. It also involves uh, creating an environment where students can feel comfortable expressing themselves in English, developing their confidence in using it and providing them with opportunities to practice speaking and listening skills. Additionally, teachers should be aware of cultural considerations when teaching. If, what do you think of this? Isn't it amazing? Would Google, I'm doing a publicity here for the bot, would Google offer you such amazing information? I want to know where this came from, because if my students are going to write this, I want to know from where. So where did you get this information? Remember, it's like a person, you're asking this person who is more than a person, because it can add a lot of information that we can't possibly hold. And this information was gathered from various sources. Okay, what are the sources? 
okay, we have to keep probing, and this is great for students, by the way, one of the sources, and research article. Sources for this information include additional websites. What are the websites? What are the links? Or you can just write links of the site. Okay, I'm being, um, I want the links. Okay, so it may take it longer now, but then I'll get a list of links. The British Council, uh, Cambridge, Amazon, get books. Jeremy, oh, okay, teaching young learners. So I, I get a lot of information, but it's not clickable. If you want the information, copy and paste it in your creation wall, and we'll talk about that. So this is one way of getting information and answering the response questions. All right. So let's continue here. This is what you can do, and it'll disappear when you disappear. So make sure you copy and paste it. All right. We're going to go to week one. Uh, the center here, these are called sections. It's a Moodle platform. Uh, and we've got four moderators giving a session each. The first one, I'm leading the first one, Cheryl McCoy, who's here, is leading the second one. We'll introduce you to the moderators in a minute. And then there is uh, Judy Wong for week three, Nevis Teresi for week four. And then I go back, we do it together and I lead, yeah, week five. Notice what you have to do here. You, you can read uh, what's ahead. There is the presentation. Now, before I go on with the support form, let's get acquainted and so on. Cheryl, can you mute your mic? Um, I'm going to go into the presentation used. If you're not speaking, please mute your mic. You can have this presentation. It's yours. Let me go into it so I can go. Whoops, I didn't want it to be that large. Let me make it a little smaller. There we go. So I can have. There we are. All right, share this tab. I hope you can see this now. All right, so this is what we're going to do today. Uh, we'll introduce uh, the platform, week one. The moderators will go through some resources, PDF files, some readings, and the meetings, as well as weekly badges. We'll also go through um, forum discussions, and the creation boards that we've decided to use this year, and that's Wakelet, screen recorders such as Screencast-O-Matic, Vimeo, and Flip. So let's get started. Hands-on is what teaching a felt young learners is about. That's what we want our students to do, and that's what we're modeling as moderators, as teachers, as participants. We're modeling and getting the sense of what it feels to um, learn and teach because uh, what we want our students to do is to be able to be active and to peer learn or to teach one another. The session focuses on activities that engage and teachers will use Voki and the following tools uh, in the classroom, whether board games, uh, limited resource classroom activities or storyboard storybook reading and provisional play activity. This is who we are. Uh, I'm from Canada. Cheryl's from the United States. Nevis Teresi is originally from Australia, living in Italy. And Judy Wong is from the United States. Uh, this is a little bit about me. And you can see that I'll be leading week one. I've been teaching EFL uh, for over 40 years as uh, to young learners, as well as to adults. But my greatest pleasure was teaching EFL to young learners. Um, I started with very young learners, went on to uh, older and focused mostly on high school. Then I came back to uh, junior high, ages 12 to 15. And I found that that was my favorite age group. I loved, um, teenagers who are mixed up, and uh, I find that I can learn so much from them. I um, am currently the um, co-chair with Judy Wong, by the way, uh, the co-chair elect of TESO Call IS, uh, Computer Assisted Language Learning, and I'm also the head lead of uh, EVO 23 coordination team, and I am currently the faculty at Immersive Technologies IMT and 
master's of science program at the Department of Computer Science. I'm not a computer geek, I'm an educator, but this program is for educators. Uh, Cheryl, would you like to introduce yourself? If Cheryl's still here, I'm not sure. Cheryl? Okay, maybe she had to uh, drop off. Uh, Cheryl is um, an adventurous. She believes that learning is an adventure for life. Uh, she teaches and judges online and face-to-face -face contests, workshops, and courses developing a fusion of teaching tools, inquiry-based learning, skills, interests. She earned a bachelor's degree in elementary education as well as a master's degree in curriculum and instruction in environmental science. And that's what Cheryl brings. Uh, she lives uh, with her family on their sustainable farm. What she brings to us is, Cheryl, are you here? Oh, okay, so you're back. What I wanted to say was about your um, artistic uh, and as well as environmental science, um, I guess you would call it CLIL way of teaching EFL to young learners. We'll get to that. Sorry, is Judy here, Cheryl? Okay, so Judy Wong, hi there, everyone. Judy Wong is from the United States, as I said, um, and um, she has been a performing artist and visual artist and so many other things for many, many years. Uh, she's a professional storybook reader, Zoom trainer, perform performing and visual artist, published writer and a teacher and international speaker, specializing in TESOL, teaching English to speakers of other languages. She holds a BS in liberal art, teaching academics through the arts, and an MA TESOL from the New York, from New School University in New York City, USA. And she's currently involved in other um, things that she will probably be sharing with you. And in week four, we've got Nevis Teresi, who's currently in Australia. She'll be back in Italy and with us next week, uh, hopefully, or the week after. She'll be doing week four. Uh, she's a teacher at a classical studies high school in Italy. She teaches English conversation and English drama, English exam preparation, Cambridge, uh, Erasmus, and e-twining projects. If you're familiar with European um, schools, you'll be familiar with that. Technical and business English. Uh, she also translates from Italian to English, works as an interpreter and mediator for business negotiations teaches online using interactive learning platforms via Pegasus One languages, and she participates actively in online teacher training on Moodle for Teachers. She's given a lot of courses. By the way, teaching EFL to young learners, I think we're in our ninth year. Can you believe that? Since 19, since 2014, that's nine years. Uh, and Google certified educators. So as you can see, we've got a lot of um, tools to share with you. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is learn about the layout. And the layout, as you noticed when I shared the course before, there is the middle and the right. Moodle no longer has left, if you're familiar with the left. So it's center and right. And why I'm showing this to you is that you can get rid of the right by clicking on the X. There's also information at the top, the blue, which is part of the course, but everything on the blue and beneath the blue is the course area. What you see in blue in the center are the sections. You can click on anything that's clickable. You just have to come back by clicking on my courses in case you get lost. If you get lost, there's also a help desk on the main page where you can contact me and ask for help. You'll be reading and annotating with something called Aminote. I'll show you that in a second. You click on the Aminote and it takes you to a workplace. Within the course, you don't leave the course, okay? You're in the course and everything is within the course, except for these tools that are not in the course. You'll need to go out and come back and bring um, your work from these. These are some of the tools. The layout, 
first thing you're going to get acquainted with Voki. How many of you have used Voki before? Anyone? I'll show you how that works. You go into Voki, you write down teaching you felt young learners. That's your username and password. And then you get 90 seconds to add your audio, record your voice, or have a, an avatar record its voice. You just add the text and the text will speak. We'll be using Wakelet for you to share your work so that at the end of the session, you come out with something. All your work will be on the Wakelet. We've got a common Wakelet page for the cold session, as well as you can have your own personal one. We'll be using Poodle to record our voices and Noto to share. And I'll show you how collaborate on videos and screencast matic Flip and Vimeo to create videos. And the rest is more or less the same. There's the layout of the course. Annotate with Aminote. Read and respond. And then you get the weekly badges. Once you finish the week, you get a reward for finishing the week. Uh, you can work ahead. That's okay. Um, but try not to lag behind because it'll be hard for you to make up. But if you work ahead, then maybe you can lag a bit. Uh, have some time. And then there's the final certificate as the EVO head lead coordinator. I'm the one that signs it. Next year, it will be somebody else. Uh, there are some references and uh, the readings that you went through on Voki, Kahoot, and other things. Right now, I'm going to go back to, and I hope you can see this. Let me know if up to here, you don't have to remember anything because you've got the slides and basically you just follow the step. So I'm back in week one. Let me know if you're with me. You can unmute yourself or use the chat to let me know how you're doing. No comments? Yes, please. You can ask questions too, Cheryl. See if there are any comments in the chat box. And if they can't find the chat box, go into the um, back into your My View, and then uh, in my under My View, go into the presentation mode, which is what I'm going to do because I find it easier. I uh, I like the way it's set up. Okay, it's like a webinar. Yeah. So. Everything is okay. I'm from, hello, from Argentina. Good to have you here. I hope the weather is nice. We are very proud of your accomplishments. Everybody's been talking about Argentina, right? So uh, congratulations once again. I think um, everyone in the country is very proud and we are proud too. All right. So I'm going to continue. Feel free to, you will not interrupt me, but to ask your question. Oh, it's hot, eh? I figured that. <laughs> yeah, it's summer. All right, so we're going to continue. Uh, let me go back to the tab. Okay, so here we are. So I wanted to show you a few things here. First of all, I wanted to show you uh, the support form. You click on it, and every question is important because it helps all of us move forward. We learn from you, you learn from us, we learn from each other. So all you need to do is you start by clicking on add discussion topic. As I said, everything blue is clickable and you can click anywhere. You just have to look at my courses to get back in case you get lost, but I don't think you'll get lost. Um, notice here you add to the subject line, that's a requirement, but notice this arrow pointing down if you hover your mouse over, it'll say show more buttons. So let's say you want more buttons. If you add more buttons, you'll be able to record your voice. There is a microphone directly here. You can also show your video. Record. If you hover your mouse over these, they'll tell you what they are. You don't have to remember anything. Trust me. Um, there are questions everywhere. If you're not sure of something, 
then you post to forum. Remember to post to forum or you won't see it. I can go back now. I'm here under this. I'll go back to teaching and it'll take me right back to where I was because Moodle, this platform has an amazing tracking system. You should maybe smile all the time in case it tracks your, no, I'm kidding. It won't track your face. It's not that kind of tracking, but it tracks your position where you were from your, um, from your account. All right, next uh, we're going to go to Voki. Okay, the Voki, and I'm here automatically. Why is that? Huh, that was interesting. It got me right in here. I'm going to log out because that was the wrong log. You're going to log in with, oops, not with Nelly. Okay, it remembered me, but it's teaching EFL to young learners, and the password will be the same, teaching EFL to young learners. And this way you get 90 seconds, plus you get a lot more. You get all the pro features. Okay, so use this, unless you want to use yours. But here you get a lot more options. And then you're going to go into Create. Does everybody see Create? Cheryl, anyone not see Create? Okay, great. So if you see it, everybody should. I'd love to hear your voices. Um, so feel free to unmute. And remember, nothing interrupts me. Ask Cheryl. I, I can, you can ask me questions at any time. I don't lose my place. And if I do, that's okay too. Uh, <laughs> I can. Okay, so um, you click on create and then you go to create new. Very intuitive, right? Students love this of all ages. You can use it on your phone and so can students. Uh, you can give it a title now. I would wait later. And then you decide you go to the head, start from the top, then scroll all the way down. Okay, scroll, scroll, so that we get a normal head here. We don't want that head. Uh, we also have avatars. There we go. And we choose, uh, I'll choose a female, Abigail. Okay, I have no choice there. But you can also change the background. You can add your own background. There's the um, background here. Very intuitive on the left. Um, and choose a background. I'll choose any background there. You can change colors, the color of uh, your lips, or the avatar's lips, sorry. Eyes. Okay, uh, body, hair, and, and other makeup. If you want to put some makeup on, okay, on your cheeks, you can put green makeup. I love that. Okay, um, and then you go down to the voice because you can't save it. If you try to save it without a voice, it'll tell you to go to audio on the bottom left-hand side. And then you can either type, uh, add text, and if you add text, add text please speak this is great for students because uh, they learn to listen to different accents and then you can have english or you can have american don't choose the other ones but choose english don't let them but they will okay they'll have fun that's australian uh there's danielle from the uk and then there's beth from the united states I don't know if you heard that. Okay, in any case, and then when you're happy or you can speak using your mic, you click on the mic and you can speak. Hello there and welcome. We are on Voki. Okay, and then when you're finished, you uh, stop. Yeah, stop. You have 90 seconds. And then you can. Uh... Okay, that's that's it. Okay, so then you write uh, your name or whatever you want to call it, Nelly, and wait a few seconds until it comes up. And then you're going to share it. And there are different ways of sharing it. You can share, and you're not going to share a social network. We want it. You share it with a link. You can also share it with an embed code, which is not currently working for some reason, but no Java. Only iframe, you can have different sizes. You can add it to your Wakelet or to your website, blog. Okay, you copy the code or 
the link for us. Okay, so there's the link. You can have the full link, which is short anyway, or you can have the long link. Use the short link, copy the URL, and then you go back to the tab here. You go into uh, the Voki. Let's get acquainted with Voki. You click on add a new discussion talk, or sorry, they, they remove the new after years. I'm still used to it. Nelly, and then you just paste it. That's all. I images too, you just paste them and they will stick in the advanced. But here you don't need to go to the advanced. And notice what happens. The link, there we go. The link is now clickable. I can click on it and everyone will. And I'll get here and see it there. Okay, stop. All right. So that's um, that. I'm going to delete it. You can delete if you're still on the page for as long as you're on that particular uh, area. Otherwise, you have, uh, I think, 60 seconds, 60, yeah, 60 minutes, 60 minutes to. Um, to make changes. But if you're there, you can always make the changes. And then we've got Aminote. What you're going to do is you're going to read and then answer why Voki. If you think Voki is a joke, they've done a lot of studies, a lot of academic research-based studies peer-reviewed on Voki and the value of using Voki for language learning and so on. You click on the Aminote. Is everyone with me? Click on the Aminote and then you open. You don't go to download. You can do that later if you want. You go into Aminote and you're going to annotate. Notice, Cheryl, we are in the course. Okay, we're going to go to the right here so that we can view it side by side. Okay, there it is, the three. But if you click anywhere, you'll know what it is and you don't have to worry about it. So that we can add notes here. We can time ourselves. We can add um here a highlighter we can get a color we can also if we go to this we can just add in different places number one and then add our notes or we can go to a and just write on this okay by going into a and just write directly on it okay if you like it give it a smiley it's free from aminote they're absolutely amazing if you like it let me know Ask in the support. You can also use this off of this site somewhere else. Uh, submit to teacher, save it. And it'll, if you're not finished, you can come back to it. It'll remember exactly where you were and you can continue. You can also collaborate. You can have fun with others, collaborate, and then submit to teacher. That's us. Okay, no grades for this, but you can do that. Okay, so we're lost, right, Cheryl? Where do we go to get back? Yeah, I know. But if you can't, my courses, remember, go to my courses and then you go to, and you find it on your left. It's always going to be there, ready for you, and you're in the right place. Amino. Yeah. Yes, and you can you can ask me. You can have it off off this as well. Let me see if there's anything else that. I, oh yes, I wanted to tell you about this. Okay, um, but I see that it's not here. Yes, yes. Um, I wanted to show you uh, something else here. Uh, the meetings are in my time. Okay, the meetings are at twelve o'clock p.m. But that is not your time unless you live in ESL time in Canada or New York in, in the United States or maybe in South America in some part. What I'd like you to do is to go to the top right profile, and this is on the PowerPoint presentation. Go into edit and add your time zone. Okay, here it is. Um, right now it's Toronto. Change it. Where are you? Can someone tell me where they are so I can uh, change it to your zone? It goes by um, alphabetical orders or starts with Africa, different places, Africa, and then the cities. 
in Africa, only cities. It's based on cities, America, South, North and South America, but it's based on cities. So if I decide to go to, let's see, America, we have someone from South Africa, right? I don't know. Uh, sorry, South America. Uh, Argentina, right? Argentina. Uh, Buenos Aires, is that okay? I don't hear you. You can unmute yourself. You need to click on the uh, icon for the microphone. But let me do that. I'll go to Buenos Aires, okay? And then you need to remember to update. Oh, perfect. All right. And then I'm going to go to my courses if I'm lost or if I want to go back. And then notice what happens to the time. It was at 12 o'clock, right, p.m. But for you in Buenos Aires, in Argentina, it's going to be 2 p.m. And that's what you're going to see. So you will see your own time zone on the page. Isn't that amazing? So make the change. Yes. You have a question? Yes. Yes, Alex. Okay, there, you see magic. All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> So let me go back. Alex, yes, please. So I went at the top. I w you saw me. I went at the top and then edit profile. And then I went into, I scrolled down and I went into the time zone. I changed it to Argentina. I'm going to go back. It goes by city. Ameri Where are you from, Alex? Europe, America. Oh, you're in Paraguay. Lovely. All right. So let's go to Paraguay. Um, I saw Asuncion, right? I saw it somewhere. It goes by alphabetical order for all of, um, and it doesn't have Paraguay for some reason, but it has Asuncion. Where is it? I, I missed it. Or maybe it does have Paraguay. No, it doesn't. It has Asuncion. There it is. There it is. America. And I'm going to save it. So Alex, you tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm going to go to my courses because I, I lost it and then come back here. It's the easiest way where I can use the back button, which I don't like to use. And then notice your time will be the same as Argentina, the same as um, Buenos Aires, 2 p.m. to 3. And that's correct, right? That's when you came in today. Three thirty, yeah, yeah, that's right. It's it's twenty. It's yeah, it's almost twenty two, but at least no. But you'll see when the meeting starts. You don't have the exact time right now, even though I can put that for you. I can put a clock here, uh, but at least you know when the meeting is, and you can also go to the calendar, okay? And uh, you have the link here and everything on the right. I'm going to show you this in a better way. Let me go back, and you can turn that off. Let me go back to um, over here to the presentation because I think I showed that a lot better here. Let me make it larger. There we go. Um, I showed this here after there. But I didn't show you the uh, cal. Yeah, there we are. Okay, I didn't sh show the profile. Oh, I guess I didn't. I thought I'd. I thought I did. Okay, great. I will. Ah, okay. All right. Yes. No, it was my fault because I didn't share it. I I didn't share. If you're interested in in the platform that we're using, let me know, and you can practice. You can come here at any time. I'll give you moderator tools so you can practice and you can try things out for yourself. You can screen share, you can uh, record. Okay, if you're interested in that, Alex or anyone else, uh, you can do that by coming into uh, the room. I think we've gone through everything. Um, Voki, why Voki? And then, ah, one more thing. Teachers' perspectives about challenges. Um, yeah. Challenges, there's another form here, challenges in teaching EFL to young 
learners. So you'll be seeing that as well. Let me share this tab and continue here. See if I missed anything. Okay, so we've got everything. Yeah, I think I've shared everything with you. I went a bit fast because I knew that Cheryl had to go early. Um, but now we're open to questions. So feel free to unmute or ask your question in the chat. Ah, good question, Vita. Thank you for asking. Yes, everyone sees it. But what do you mean by, oh, you mean Aminote only? Yeah, the Cheryl said I would show. Yeah, let me go back there and um, and show share that with you. Okay, Aminote. You asked whether you're interested in Aminote, right? So when you click on Aminote, you go into open in Aminote, and you're in the course, right? You're right here. But you would like to know more about Aminote. Oh, if you get lost, by the way, you can always uh, send me a message, and I'll see what I can do to help in case you get lost and you don't know you missed your place or for whatever question, you, not that you're going to get lost or anything, but feel free to ask. Every question is okay. There's no such thing as a silly or, you know, useless question. They're all brilliant. So if you want to go to um, Aminote, okay, let me go over here. On the left, you will see note taking and Aminote. If you click on, and then you've got all your courses, these are all my courses. And you click on Aminote, wait, um, I'm screen sharing and I did this last time and it made a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to share, uh, go back to GoBrunch and share Aminote with you. Okay, it, um, there's the link. Okay, Aminote. Aminote um, is from France a French um, organization, actually it's a person created it uh, for LMSs and for others. We'll be using a specific Wakelet. It's there in the course, but you can start using Wakelet for yourself. And also we'll have a collaborative Wakelet page where everyone will add uh, their work. Let me go back here. There we are. Okay, Vita, did I answer your question? You click on Aminote. And look, I'm going to share this with you because I really think that what they're doing with Aminote is absolutely amazing. Um, it, it's really a great service to educators around the world. It's in different languages as well. As I said, they're based in Europe. Maybe that's why they're more open to, um, you know, European languages. So notice that it's in English, of course, in French, because they're based in France, um, the Netherlands, right? Uh, Italy, Spain, and Germany, and, and German. It's in the these languages you can download Aminote, which is wonderful to your computer to your computer desktop uh, and you can be a student a teacher an institution a researcher you create an account uh, let me know if you have any questions about that in the support i think they're absolutely amazing and what they're doing and you can also um get i've created some youtube videos if you're interested just write nelly deutsch aminote or nelly deutsch moodle or nelly deutsch efl uh, whatever you're interested i have i think videos in most most topics so does this help is this um what you wanted let me know okay great vita all right um any questions? I'm looking to see if there are any questions. Alex, okay. Oh, you used it um, in eTwining project. Okay, so you're familiar with that. 
Okay, so I guess we've got um, a few continents here. Uh, that's it. Our first meeting was kind of longer. In the next meetings, we'll be having discussions where you can ask questions on how you're doing. But um, you can use the chat or you can use your voice or you can use your webcam, your camera. That's fine. So thank you very much. I will share the recording. Thank you. And as I said, um, you don't have to remember anything. Everything is there and you can always ask questions and it's okay. I don't believe that we have to memorize anything or take notes. Uh, just follow it. So the next meeting is next week, but most of the work, Viviana, is on the platform. That's where you'll be doing the work. Okay, so the meetings are just... Um, to enrich, you know, to, to help you out where possible and for you to ask questions, of course. The first meeting was mostly my talking because I wanted to introduce the platform. All right. So thank you. And don't forget to add your time zone and country. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good day and enjoy the week. Looking forward to, and if you're coming to the, um, to the meeting tomorrow, the kickoff, you're welcome. So far, we've got almost 600. So we're only going to let 100 in. So if you're planning on coming, join in early. First 100 get in. The others will have to see the YouTube video um, streaming. If you're not sure of what I'm talking about, ask in the support form and I'll provide you with all the links. Uh, as far as the chat goes, you can, I believe, uh, copy it or uh, let me see. Um, you can get it. Copy the whole thing and take it with you. If you need time for that, let me know. All right, so I'll give you a little bit of time. Uh, another thing is you can come into this room at any time. It's open for you. And if you'd like to meet here, if you have a question and you'd like one-on-one -on -one meeting or you'd like to meet each other here, uh, let me know and I'll be able to, um, you'll be able to speak to one another. In fact, you'll be, you don't need me in here during the week. That's fine. 